Hi everyone, today's video is going to be fairly short. I just wanted to share a quick tip with you that can be useful in modeling. And this quick tip is about selecting alternating loops. So let's do a quick example. And for this example, I'm going to use a torus. And I'll keep everything at default here. I'll just right click and shade it smooth. And let's say we want to select every other polygon loop here and extrude it. And usually what you would need to do is tab into edit mode and hit three for polygon mode. And then we can use the loop selection to select every other loop here. But that of course is a little bit tedious. So there's a faster way to do that. I'm just going to deselect everything here and then switch to edge mode. So what I want to do is select alternating loops around this object. And that means, first of all, we have to make a loop selection like this. So I can select any of these edge loops here. And then we need to go to select and do a checker deselect. Next, we need to add a loop selection in the direction we want the loops to go. So for this, I'm going to again make a loop selection. For example, I can hover my mouse over any of these edges here and add this as a loop selection like so. And then we can go to select, select loops and do an edge ring selection here. And then we can hit Alt E and choose extrude faces along normals and extrude the faces like this. Let's tab back into object mode and control two to subdivide the object and there you go. You can also use this technique to quickly create fake screw threads, for example. So let's go ahead and add a cylinder and I'm going to scale it in the Z axis. Let's do something like this. Right click and shade it smooth. I'll jump into one of the orthographic views. Just use my right view here. Tab into edit mode. Hit W to go back to my select box. And I'll just deselect everything here I'm just going to hit Control R and do a single loop cut. So left click, right click, and then I'm going to use Machine Tools, Alt R. And with this option, I can rotate this edge loop. And let's do something like this. Next, I'm going to hit Control B and bevel this edge loop and scroll the mouse wheel to add a number of segments here. Let's do 20. And next I'm going to select this edge up here, hold down control and left click to select this loop like so. And then we can go to select, check and deselect. And then we need an edge loop going around the cylinder. So you can pick any one here. I'm just going to select the top one. And then again, go to select, select loops and do an edge ring selection here. And there you go. And now we can hit Alt E and extrude the faces along the normals. Let's just go back into face mode. You need to deselect a couple of polygons in this case. So I'm going to deselect these two here. And then I can hit Alt E and extrude the faces along normals like this. And let's go ahead and grab these polygons here, hit X and delete the faces tab back into object mode and control two to add a subdivision surface modifier. And there you go. So that is your quick and dirty screw thread here. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and I'll see you again soon.